G'day you beautiful people, my name is Lucas and today we're doing another comparison video. This time we're going to work out who the smartest character in fiction is. But before we get to that, I just have to remind you that Bob here will be here in this, in this video. No one found him last video, so there's no shout out today. But if you find him, you'll get a shout out in my next video. And now let's just get straight to the video. Okay, so here we are. Let's get right into this comparison. Okay, number one's Homer. Uh, I'm just going to stop here because I'm already going to say something about Homer. So they're going off the version of Homer that doesn't have the... um. Well, it does, sorry, what well, does have the crown stuck in his nose, because there is that episode where they find out he's got a crown in his nose, what's, you know, disrupting his, what's touching his brain or something, whatever it was, and it's disrupting his intelligence, and they take it out and he becomes a genius, isn't, doesn't that happen in it? But then in the, at the end of the episode, he gets sick of being smart and they put it back in. There's a few times where Homer's seen to actually be intelligent, but for a reason or another, he's big, got to the state he is, but... It is what it is. That's pr they've probably just gone off his base intelligence. And then, well, Forrest Gump is next. My boy Forrest. Jon Snow. Jon Snow's only got an IQ of 80. And then Darth. Surely Darth Maul's more intelligent than that. Like, I've, I've watched all of the Clone Wars. And we, he's seen, he makes his own. Spoiler alert for. Obviously, for. Star Wars comics and some of the TV shows. But he runs his own syndicate. He becomes. A, a literal syndicate leader. He he joins multiple drug and, and criminal syndicates together and becomes a crime lord. You'd have to be smart, pretty smart to be able to do that. Wolverine. Uh, makes sense he's not this, he's, you know, solve it with fists, not brains. D Captain America, yeah, makes sense. Get Vader, 118. Law of the Dark Side. Yeah, it makes so, him in the exact same as Harry Potter. What version? Of, what, what age Harry Potter? But again, yeah, Anakin's not the brightest spark out there. He's again, salt with muscle, not really strategic strategy. But 118 IQ. Okay. So Luke's smarter than his dad. That's good to know. Mm. Catwoman. Yeah. So, so just the exact same intelligence as Robin, apparently. Honestly, I'd probably put Obi-Wan higher than that. I am, but that's maybe the Obi-Wan nerd. Hermione Granger. Only 130, let's see who's above her. Oh, okay, we're starting to get to pretty smart characters then. But I'd say Hermione's quite smart, especially in the end of the movie. Um, Spider-Man, yeah, makes sense. Howard Wallowitz smarter than Spider-Man. Now, one of them was able to make their own web shooters, make their own web fluid, and he's an absolute genius. I reckon Spider-Man is too low on this list. If Howard, I mean, I guess the difference is Howard uses real world, world science and Spider-Man uses comic book science, but I'd say Spider-Man's smarter than Howard any day of the week, and probably Hermione Granger too, but that's just my opinion. He, he's a, he's very smart, you know, when, he's great at what he does, And but come on, Spider-Man at least has to be higher than him. Yoda, gonna be... Uh, about the same. Mm. Again, I reckon higher than. Him. Might be. I, I, I don't. I reckon you're smarter than Harley Quinn for sure. Well, she's a uh, psychiatrist. You know, very smart. But I'd say you're smarter than her. Lisa Simpson, intelligent passenger. Yet yeah, Lisa's a genius. We know that. Professor X, 165 IQ. Pretty smart man. Let's see who's above him. Malcolm, same intelligence. I'd say Professor X is. Way more intelligent than Malcolm. Comic book guy, I'd say. Again, Professor X smarter. Raj, 170, yeah, makes sense. Leonard, about the, just a little bit smarter than his mate. Penguin, 183. Hulk. Uh, 183 for the Hulk. I would reckon they should have done Bruce Banner, because most lists do the two separately. If it was Bruce Banner, I'd agree with that IQ. But then, if Bruce Banner's this high, why isn't Spider-Man this high? Spider-Man should have been high on this list, and I'm going to die on that reel. Again, it could be, depending on the version of Spider-Man. Uh, Joe, 184, I mean, he is a, good at, you know, social engineering, I guess. Sheldon Cooper definitely makes sense. Sherlock Holmes, I mean, when you when you become synonymous with being smart, yeah. Iron Man and... Yeah, I don't know. Mm, okay, I, I'd say... Iron Man and Batman should be about the same, but Superman's smarter than Batman. I can't disagree. I'd have to disagree there. 
and Aquaman, Aquaman being smarter than the lot, I completely disagree there. Daenerys, Daenerys does not have an IQ of 275, surely not. I, I, could, I, I feel like her advisors are way smarter than her, unless her advisors are higher up on this list, but... I mean, for a time, maybe she's very smart, but compared to the other people on this list, what are they, like, the inventors on this, like, like Spider-Man, Iron Man, Batman, I reckon they're a better tactician, more intelligent in general. I mean, gotta love Daenerys. She's a great character, but I just don't see her being that high IQ. But... Let's see who's next. Shredder. 300 IQ, yeah. Gotta love the Ninja Turtles, but... 300 for Wonder Woman. I just know what four's not for. At least... At least, um... Movie four isn't that smart. Man's, man's a brute. He's... Strong. He's, you know, goes, goes in swinging. He's not the brightest man out there, and it's very, very much seen that way. He ain't got that high of an IQ. Definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, Loki. Yeah, it makes sense. Over a thousand? I just don't... I don't know if it would be over a thousand for Thanos. It's just kind of weird. Uh, Galactus. I mean, we're getting to super beings. Rick Sanchez, probably, but 5,000 just seems a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, 6,000. Mr. Is a 211. Yeah, pretty smart. Uh, okay, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will have this video if you want to watch it yourself without my annoying commentary. Down the link in the description, you can watch it yourself. Again, if you like this, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you if you've got something to say, if you disagree with something that was on the list, or I just want to have, say hi, I'll probably respond back. I'll try my best. But I want you all to remember, I love you all, and have a great day.